In this op-ed, I am going to be talking about comedy hype. Is it the new True Confessions? Now, every so often, I would see a comedy hype video pop up in my YouTube timeline. And I, I, I do admit, I do watch those videos. I mean, um, some of them had some very interesting interviews, particularly with um, Darius McRae from um, Family Matters, um, Clifton Powell, um, Paul Mooney's sons, and others who I can't think of at the moment. But it seems to me that all that comedy hype is, is just a haven for true confessions. And what I mean by that is that when, whenever I look at that channel, whenever I see a video on it, all it is, is a bunch of, um, associates of black celebrities of yesteryear, black celebrities who are no longer with us or celebrities that may be current. But particularly, um, it's, just a, it's just a venue for people who are at some point or another associated with a particular black celebrity of the past to go on there and discuss their private life and their most intimate secrets. And as I take a critical look at comedy hype, it, it just seems to me that black media has sunk into a new low. Now, I know that there's new black media, particularly with you know, um, people such as Phil Scott, um, Professor Black Truth, Jason Black, Tariq Nasheed, Nicole's View, um, Harvey Superboy, and others. I mean, as Torrain Rain. And Chris Miller back black up in you. But when you look at other media like a comedy hype, it, it, it just seems like it's it's a step five decades backwards. It just sets us way back in time. You know, I, I you know, I remember the days when there used to actually be some honor and integrity in this thing. But nowadays, it seems like in order for somebody to sell out their integrity or their honor, all you have to do is just put a camera and a microphone in their face and voila. No, it, it's just it's it's just shameful that. Um, our, our media has just sunk into new depths. And the latest video that I seen from Comedy Hype is, um, Dolomite, Rudy Ray Moore was a closeted homosexual. And this was, um, a detail revealed by Rudy Ray Moore's former manager, now, when Rudy Ray Moore was alive, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, he never disclosed his sexuality. And quite frankly, it's none of our business anyway. And this is the biggest misconception that I would often hear out there is, okay, he was a long, so-and-so was a long-time bachelor or bachelorette, so maybe they were gay. Uh, No. That, that doesn't mean that they're gay. I mean, there um, is everyone that's married heterosexual. When there are married people that are gay, there are married, there are homosexual people that mated with um, folks of the opposite sex. So just to judge somebody because they don't have a significant other in their life is gay is absurd to me. But anyway, you know, comedy hype to me is just another DJ Vlad. 
I mean, it has it has potential to be something, but very rarely on Comedy Hype does it actually discuss actual comedy. I mean, they interviewed comedians, no doubt. I mean, I've seen Ari Spears on there quite a few times, and um, I've seen Pierre on there, and I've seen Monique on there, but when you look at it, it's just a haven and a safe space for others to come on there and gossip about black celebrities who are no longer here's personal lives. Lives that they ain't even disclosed to the public. So that just goes to show you um how 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 much that they how much that those people that they let in their personal circle honored their confidence. We'll just say that confidence. And in closing, you would never see um, associates of a white celebrity go on an online platform like a comedy hype or something and disclose that celebrity who's no longer his personal life. Nah, nah, because you know something? Within within minutes that that video is uploaded and it gets maybe 2,000 or 300,000 hits, it'd be taken down due to threats of a legal discourse. So I, I'm, I'm just noting this out. I mean, as far as far as us as black people, we need to have some kind of honor and integrity, particularly with the folks that are no longer here to defend themselves instead of just selling each other out for exposure or for a few trinkets. So that um, concludes my editorial on Comedy Hype, the new true confessions. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. One love.